For today's American youth, there is no single national pastime. The choice of organized sports is as varied as the youngsters who participate. For most kids, sports are a way to keep fit and have fun. But for the rare few, like Bob Brown's son, Scott, who show exceptional skill and drive at a very early age, sports are destined to mean a whole lot more. Scott has a heart problem. He had open heart surgery or coarctation of the aorta and a septal defect. And he still has the hole in his heart. And when we first started, uh, when, he, when we discovered that he had the hole in heart, he was not racing. And they didn't want him to do anything. He wasn't supposed to carry on as a normal child. He was just supposed to sit around and, and do nothing. And they didn't give him a long time to live. And uh, we decided to get him out and let him do the things that he wanted to do and let him make a life for himself, whether it was three or four or five years. We felt it was more important to, to see him enjoying himself for that period of time and seeing him in a box, so to speak, for the rest of forever, how long he might live. And after the surgery, we started letting him do a little competition and things, playing soccer and doing things, and he, he continually to, to improve. And every time we went back to check up, well, he's, he's really getting a lot better. You know, hopes are better now. And uh, outlook is a lot better. Have you been doing anything different? And I said, yes, we've, we've been letting him go, just letting him do what he wanted to do and letting him enjoy the life that he does have. And so, the last checkup we had, which was about six months ago, they said that it, it appeared that what we had done, allowing him to, to build his physical condition up, is giving him a, a very good chance at a, at a long life. And it's been a it's been a miracle to us in more ways than one. At the starting gate, the young men are ready to go. Six laps. Your dad and yourself, do you ride or race together at all? We used to. One day he was riding a 125 and I passed him and then he quit. Besides kids, the one ingredient that guarantees success for youth sports is parents. They supply the necessary instruction, supervision, support and encouragement. The Browns have found something they enjoy doing as a family. Aside from coaching and encouraging Scott and preparing him for his racing, Bob Brown announces most MMA events, and his wife Patty is an official scorer. Parents like the Browns give a lot for their son's sport, but they get back a great deal more. Sport is important to Scott, and it's important to us. It's, it's worth it. Whatever we, we have sacrificed is worth it if it keeps him interested in something good. You know, there's a lot of kids out there today that... 14 to 15 years old that have no goals, no aim. So if God can keep a healthy attitude and a, you know, a healthy look on life without resorting to other things, it's different. It's worth it. Scott Brown has achieved success in many sports. Wrestling champion, all-star soccer forward, gymnast, long-distance runner, junior All-American football linebacker and tackle. Yet for Scott, motocross is special. I think motocross is more demanding because your body takes, keeps on bouncing and all. And in soccer, you just run and kick the ball and, and um, try and make goals. Motocross is ranked as one of the world's most strenuous sports. Professional motocross riders are the most physically fit group of athletes. I run five five to ten miles a day and do 500 push-ups, 500 sit-ups, and I go to school. I have to do it before school. I run at six o'clock in the morning, do some push-ups and sit-ups then. And at the end of the day, I, I'll do some push more push-ups and sit-ups. Here's the battle. Halfway mark. Three laps of six. First photo. These guys get a chance to get a breather, and then they come off back for a second photo. Eddie Hicks from Palmdale, California, leading Scott Brown from Santa Ana. The leader, Mike Healy, on the number 99 machine. Here's the challenge, Scott Brown getting around. Scott Brown. We work together, uh, and we, we go out and we practice together. And the 125 professionals and the 250 and the international riders are here. Scott's not playing around. He's out there watching them ride, watching the front runners, trying to find out if there's something that they're doing that maybe he doesn't know how to do yet, and trying to, to gain from the people that he admires in the sport. This series has been up and down for Scott. He took the 83cc overall win at the Indian Dunes opener, but suffered injuries that dropped him down in the standings the very next weekend at Verona Oaks. 
Again, things didn't look good two weeks later at Orange County International Raceway until moto number two when he took the overall win. A lot of racing has led up to this important final at Saddleback Park. But for Scott, as for most of these riders, it all began right here in the Pee Wee class, where the motocross stars of tomorrow start racing before they begin school. For these little guys, racing is a never-ending series of challenges. races on the weekend so we started taking him to the races and a friend of ours said well you know why don't you let him race today you know? and so we decided well he was little and he was five years old and we let him start with the 80s and they'd run off and leave him and maybe not have any problems that he'd be going slow enough and everything. so we put him out there and he raced and he came in dead last and uh, we went to the trophy presentation and we were about ready to leave the trophy presentation and all of a sudden they announced that uh, for our six-year-old and under mini class, our first place rider was Scott Brown, and they gave him this trophy. And <laughs> he got the trophy, and it's been downhill or uphill either way you want to put it. Basically, I want to try and be the 250, 250 national champion, 250 world Unlike pros, most mini motocrossers race in more than one class. Scott Brown competes in five. With two 20-minute motos per class, race day for Scott means over two hours of all-out racing. Competing seriously means superb physical conditioning and the right protective equipment. I know that he can fall and get up and not be hurt. He has been a time or two, but it's, you know, he's been hurt doing other things too. Falling off his bike, climbing a tree. It's, he wears a lot of protective gear, and I know that he can go out, take a tumble that I, looks like will kill me, and he gets up on the bike and finishes the race. And uh, it's little kids we're talking about, and sure, they get upset when they lose. They cry when they lose. But um, most of them always know there's another race and another day, and every guy has good luck now. Already, we'll be getting back out of the way here right now. This is the final moto at Saddleback Park for these young men right here. We'll race early in the first moto. Gate getting ready to go down. We're underway to the National Motor Sports Association Fall Motor Car Series. Good start. Lawrence and Scott Brown has worked very lucky. Brown back to the track. In the first moto, the Southgate California Gotcher and the Green Machine Games got out of that time. Scott's photo finish win over Mike Healy in Moto One may have come as a surprise to everyone else, but probably not to Scott, who is used to pulling out the really hard ones. He was honed to a fine edge for this important final event at Saddleback Park, and that made things tough on his major competition. The competition has become so tense, and opportunity to continue to progress is there, and if I would leave for a year or two years or three years taking him with me, it would probably destroy his career, and he is so intensely involved in it that I don't feel it would be benefiting him in any way, shape, or form to take him away from it. 
so my orders, it, it looks like uh, I'm going to end up getting out of the Marine Corps so he can continue to follow his career and find me another job to, to support him. his mind to that he wants to do. Uh, he's accomplished everything that he's ever had a goal to accomplish. And he's uh, tremendously dedicated to it, more so than anything I've ever seen or, or been involved with. The only requirement that we ever made of him was that if you're going to race, it's, a, it's definitely a sport of physical fitness, and you've got to be in shape. So you know we expect you to keep yourself in shape, and when it's obvious that you're not doing that, then that's when the race will when it, when it'll end. When it interferes with school or, or your physical ability, then that's when it will stop. With a win in Moto 1 and a second place in Moto 2, Scott easily wrapped up the Saddleback win and the overall 83cc title in the fall series. For Bob Brown, the hard-fought victory strengthened his dedication to hold together a winning team. I don't think that I could actually physically handle being away from him while he was involved with it, so I have to have to find something else to make me as happy and stay here with him. Racing, yes. But more than that, a reminder of what happens when a determined young man sets out to fulfill a dream. In Scott Brown's scrapbook is a poem that ends, life's battles don't always go to a stronger or faster man, but sooner or later the man who wins is the one who thinks he can.